strongest women in Hollywood are teaming up. And one of the funniest men in Wilmington, <laughs> Ryan PC Trimble, ah. is going to break down the news for us. Ryan? Hey, guys, you know, I knew you were going to love this story, Ashley, and I hope all of you watching do as well. The comedy gods have answered our prayers because two of the funniest ladies around are teaming up, and the internet could not be happier. This was trending all over Facebook today. J-Law, Jennifer Lawrence, and Amy Schumer are writing a comedy film together. They only met two months ago after J-Law emailed Schumer after seeing her movie, her movie Trainwreck and said, quote, I guess I should just say it. I'm in love with you. Now, the email turned to text, and text turned to writing a movie together, as they are wont to do. They were already 100 pages into writing the script, and J-Law said that she and Amy were creatively made for each other. Now, we don't really know much about the film yet, but we do know the pair will play sisters exactly, I feel like, as nature always intended. Next up, it is always awkward when someone turns a proposal down, especially when one party goes to elaborate lengths for the other. And also, if both parties aren't actually people, but giant corporations. Case in point, that's what happened after Burger King made this video for McDonald's, asking them to pair together with Burger King for International Peace Day. Now Burger King asked McDo to combine and create the McWhopper in honor of the day, which is coming up, as you see, on September 21st. The burger would have been sold at one single restaurant in Atlanta, which is halfway between Miami and Chicago, the two companies' headquarters. Now, Ronald McDonald said thanks, but no thanks to the idea. On Facebook, the CEO wrote that they loved the intention, but think the two restaurants could get together for something a little more meaningful for a global effort, a little more salty than on the fries there. Now, lastly, you probably know many of the Second City students, Tina Fey, Joan Rivers, Dan Aykroyd, just to name three. Well, today, lots of people are talking about the theater, but not because of a new show that's going up there or anything, but because of a fire. Three people were hurt when fire spread from a neighboring building right there to the Improv School and Theater in Chicago's Old Town neighborhood. It ended up destroying two levels of offices there, but the theater themselves are fine. Now they tweeted out this message on Twitter saying, we are safe and thanking everyone for their kind words. They also said the classes and shows were canceled for the rest of the day. The theater though expects everything to be, be excuse me, be back open tomorrow. And that is a look at what's training tonight. Back to you guys. Thanks, Ryan. No problem. A recall you'll want to know about before you eat breakfast.